Here we are at the Fumi Lake Natural Area, just outside of Iron Mountain in the Michigan UP. Beautiful morning. I hear birds everywhere. Let's see what we can find. Getting ready to head out. Fumi Lake Natural Area up in the Michigan UP. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day outside. Nice view of the birding room up here at the cabin in northern Wisconsin. There's my seed. There's my laptop. The old camera. Let's do this. Fumi Lake Natural Area is located in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, right off of Route 2 between Iron Mountain and Norway, right next to the small town of Quinnisek. It's one of my favorite places, and I'm always excited when I get there for a day of birding. A mixture of hardwood forests, lakes, and swampland, the area is a hotspot for many types of birds and wildlife. It contains over seven miles of non-motorized trails for hiking, biking, and birding, totaling over 1,800 acres with over five miles of beautiful undeveloped shoreline. Over 150 species of birds have been documented here at Fumi. Many warblers nest here and many pass through during migration. And I always feel like I have the whole place to myself. Aside from the few local bikers I'll see on the trails, I rarely see anyone and the lakes have been closed to fishing for over a hundred years, so you can truly feel alone, which only adds to the experience of birding up in the North Woods.
The nearby small city of Norway owned most of the land and actually used the lakes as their water supply all the way up until 1988. Then in 1992, the Fumi Lake Natural Area was established when voters here in Dickinson County won a proposal for the acquisition of Fumi Lake for its use and preservation as a natural area. around Fumi Lake used to be the site of a few mining operations after iron ore was discovered way back in 1879. The first site became known as the Indiana Mine. The settlement became known as Richardsburg after Guy Richards who at the time was the mine superintendent. Three other mines soon followed. The Cuff Mine, the Illinois Mine, and the Forest Mine. But by 1920 all the mines had closed down and only the foundations of some of the old mining buildings still remain. In spring and summer, I always look forward to seeing the American Red Starts at Fumi. A very active, mostly black warbler with orange patches on its sides, wings, and tail. The females are more gray with yellow patches. You can usually hear them singing the moment you arrive, as they often nest just off the main path near the east entrance. And males will sometimes have two mates, with his two females in two different territories which he will vigorously defend. Breeding in the United States and much of Canada, some red starts winter in southern Florida, but most winter in either Mexico or Central and South America. They often flash their tail to startle insects out of foliage and grab them out of the air, and sometimes to drive intruders out of their territory.
Fiumi's west entrance seems to immediately put you right in the middle of the woods. There's plenty of birds here, and it's only a short walk to see views of Big Fiumi Lake and some of the old mining foundations. And right around the corner from the entrance, there's a spring well fountain restored in 2001 with some of the best tasting water I've ever had. And it's a great spot to sit and relax for a bit to see what birds come to drink and bathe in the fresh spring water. Always sad when it's time to leave this place. Jimmy Lake's become pretty special to me since I started coming here a few years ago. I know it's not as well known as the places in my other videos, but it truly is a hidden gem for birding up in the North Woods. So long, Fumi Lake. Until next time.